Hello, I'm Vormithrax. This is Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead, episode 13 of our Prison Escape playthrough. And we're back in base. So at the end of last episode, we had returned to base from the, visiting the town. Did a lot of raiding and looting, and we got a lot of good stuff. Uh, in between episodes, I did just a couple of things to move things along. So I did sleep. I also grabbed a couple of dirty clothing items that we had accumulated. I ran up to the pond with some detergent and a washboard, and I cleaned them up. Uh, it's only two items that I added, and they're listed here. One's the firefighter belt that I added, and then the other one's in the cart. And it is right here, the infrared goggles. So we're going to carry those around with us just in case during the nighttime. We might find a use for them. Um, and that was it for the clothing. The other stuff I just dropped into the various piles. Um, only other things I did inventory-wise, I did pair everything out. So we're only carrying pretty much what I think is necessary at the moment. We've got our basic medical supplies that we usually carry around. Uh, most of the tools are sitting in the cart. And... I also built one more thing. It's right here, the quarter staff. So a smooth and sturdy staff with a light wrapped leather wrapped grip, light and well balanced that is surprisingly easy to handle. So it's got rapid strike and block. Rapid strike is basically double speed. So when it says moves per attack 136, that doesn't sound very good, but with rapid strike, it's actually much faster than it seems. With a plus three bonus to hit and 19 bashing damage, it's an awesome hand-to-hand -hand weapon. Now, it doesn't have the reach attack, but between rapid strike and block and the fact that it's made of wood and leather and it doesn't conduct electricity, next time I meet one of those shock zombies, that'll be our weapon of choice to beat it to death. So it won't be shocking us every time I try to poke it with a metal spear. Um, so that's going to be our blunt go-to weapon until and unless I find a halogen tool. Uh, that's pretty much my weapon of choice. We do have a firefighter's belt that I can hook that halogen bar to if we ever manage to find one. But uh, the quarterstaff is also a great weapon. So if you can build one as early as possible, I'd recommend it. Um, and that's pretty much it. Other than that, I did stock the cart. We've got a couple of Glock magazines on the Glock 19. So we've got 45 shots between those. And I also brought along some 45 caliber ACP. That's the last 10 shots that we can put into our Thompson submachine gun. Once that's gone, we'll have to switch to one of the other submachine guns that fire the 9mm rounds. Um, I'm keeping the Thompson because it's got a heavier bullet, so it's got better penetration for stuff that I would really want to make dead. So that's the plan there. And I've got some of the perishable food items. So we're bringing along the gallon jug of milk, meat sandwich, and some beans. And there's the basic stuff. So that's where we're at inventory wise. I didn't f effects or fuss with anything else really. Um, before we leave the base here, I do want to do a quick read or evaluation of these books. I'm not going to do any skill ups right now, but we're going to do the quick uh, pass through reading just to find out what kind of skill ups these can provide. So let's go ahead and do that. So, principles of advanced programming can bring your computer skill to 6 and requires level 3 in order to understand it. So 3 to 6, pretty good range. I think I'm only at, what am I at, 2? Yep, I'm at 2, so we'll have to find something to get us to 3 to be able to make use of that. Next up, Tactical Handgun Digest. Bring your handguns to 1, requires intelligence 5. That's not so exciting, but I have no handgun skill, so at least it'll get us to 1, and it's pretty fast. You can read a chapter in 6 minutes. Next up, Tau of the Handgun. Alright, there we go. That will bring handguns to three. And we can read it right away. And it's got a whole bunch of recipes. So it's got, looks like all of the, or not all of them necessarily, but a whole bunch of the ammo recipes. Plus a number of the mods. I see the iron sights and ergonomic grip. So got a number of the mods. So that'll be really good to have handy. All right, what else we got? One more through the lens, and that will do survival skill to three. So all in all, pretty good. No super high level books, so that's just fine. Let's drop them back on the pile. Like I said, I'm not going to do those right now. All right, so the books are done. Uh, I already did the cooking and got those into the cart. I'm trying to think if there's anything else we want to do before we take off again. Our lone CBM's out on the counter over here. I've got the gas mask in the cart. I think we're all set. So I think it's best if we just head back into town. All right, so let's plan this out. Time frame is 
1400 so two o'clock in the afternoon so we got about what seven hours of daylight to go all right so last time when we finished up we were in this area we had just finished this block of houses and we ch checked out that pharmacy so we've got this gun store isn't that the one we looted I want to say that's the one we looted did I not take that off the list for some reason these are all houses yeah that has to be the one we looted hmm Pretty sure we fully looted that out. I'm not sure why I didn't mark it off. I'm going to leave it there for the moment. But uh, I remember the garage. So the garage is a good base type of operation or location. So a little close to the action in regards to zombie presence. But uh, wouldn't be bad for a temporary base. And we've got the V8 engine, a crane. And we left some loot behind right there that we couldn't carry. So... During daytime hours, I'm thinking we're just going to hit some more of these houses, work our way around the outside edge of this, see what kind of things we can uncover out there. We do have binoculars, so we're going to get some good visibility during daytime to unlock some of the map. Um, so I'm going to keep working my way around that direction. If we get really good turnout gear and such, I might be persuaded to go check out the hospital. That place is just so dangerous with the acid zombies and the spitters in there, though. I just hate that place. Um, you gotta really have some acid protection if you're gonna go in there. So I'm waiting till we get a little bit more ammo and weapons and get our skills up a bit before I head in there, because I'm gonna wanna just shoot stuff dead really quickly when I'm in there, because you got narrow lines of sight. You're not out in the open, so you can't do much dodging. You turn a corner and bam, you're right there face to face with something that's going to spew acid all over you. So, um, want to be a little better prepared before we head into there. Alright, so I think that's the plan. I'm just going to head up to the hole in the fence above the pond and then we'll run up to this area and check these houses out real quick. Primarily, I'm looking for specialized basements. I think I've got most of the basic items pretty well covered. There might be some random loot that we can pick up in there that'll be useful, but, uh,. I think for now, we'll make that the goal. Let's zoom out, switch to safe mode. Yeah, we'll leave it on for now. All right, maybe not. Spotted a shady zombie. Where did I spot a shady zombie? Wow, here in the base, huh? Or in our paddock area. All right, let's go kill that thing. Turn that off. Come here, you. Come here. Alright. Hmm. Screamer zombie playing with some dogs. Good dog. Oh, must be hungry. He's coming to get me now. <laughs> Don't think so. Well, um, do we butcher these? Yeah, let's go ahead and butcher them. And let me get my tool out. Uh, that one. All right. Meat, meat. We're not gonna take those. We will take the bones. Whoops, nope. Alright, let's go smash this corpse up. And head north. Pretty much due north. We got some indicators of some zombies wandering around up there. So far I don't see anything. Dogs, cats, and squirrels are no big deal. Let's zoom my view out though. In case there's something environmental like crates or something out here that I haven't spotted. Alright, Zombie Child is now showing up on the list. I'll go that direction. Ooh, our milk's already going old. Uh, no. Wait. Yeah, go ahead. Alright. 
Um, we'll go ahead and grab the energy cola. Alright, what do we got coming? I got a boomer coming. I'm gonna let him come to me. The further he is away from the uh, populated area, the better. Start tossing sticks at him here pretty soon so we can get some level ups. Not a lot of damage, but I'm impressed we hit him from that far away. I was kind of surprised. Just keep throwing. Hey, look at that. What do you got? Beretta M9? I've got enough of that kind. I don't need that one. We'll keep moving. Alright, so. Need to go up to the northeast still. Got some... Ooh, got a shocker zombie on the, sc on the uh, screen. And I think he just went off to the left around the edge of that house. I'd like to get him on his own. Come here, shocker zombie. Alright, let's uh, get items. Let's grab that quarter staff before I forget. And we're going to wield it. Alright. Where'd he go now? Did he go inside the building? He must have. Alright, we're gonna let go of the cart here. Hopefully he's the only one in there. I don't want to get him this close. I want him to fire his shot and have a chance to miss. <laughs> oh well. Come on. Alright. Uh, we've got a joint torsion ratchet CBM. Go grab our cart here. Um, yeah, grab. Oops, grab it. Bring it over. We'll grab that. We'll grab that. Um, not going to be needing tainted meat for quite a while, so we'll leave that there. Don't care about the rest of it. Let's switch to our inventory though and grab our forked spear. Wield it. And yes, I know the forked spear is getting damaged. That's the other reason I'm carrying a backup item here. Uh, all. Alright. Grab our sticks. Took a little damage, but it was worth it. All right, let's have an aspirin, and I don't know which of these is going to be going bad. Chunks of meat? No, don't eat a chunk of meat. <laughs> meat sandwich time. All right, full and slaked. Aspirin will get rid of the pain. Let's have another one. I'm so used to having addictive personality from the training tutorial series that I hesitate to use any drugs this guy can just go crazy for the most part. Alright, so... Oh yeah, I did make some more lockpicks as well. Forgot about that. What do we got? What do we got? Let's make that there. Right, waffle iron, don't care. Mustard's good. Eh, sure. Alright, we do have... Actually, let's uh, shift those over to here. Whoops. And all. Alright, what are you doing? I want this to be all, and that to be there. Oh, that's what it's doing. Never mind. I didn't want all. Alright, butcher that thing. No, nah, I don't, don't want rags. Alright. Let go of the cart. What do we get? What do we get? Another grow basement. Alright, what's with all the missing? Am I wearing my backpack again? I am not. Shouldn't be missing that much. Oh, okay. 40 rounds of 40 caliber Smith & Wesson jacketed hollow point? Heck yeah, I'll grab that. Let's just hit the flashlight. And tough zombie who I'm not gonna fight. A joint. Um... 
Nah, I can find lots of these done or lots of these basements, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Got better things to do. Bathroom in here. What do we got? Codeine. Codeine I'll take. Alright. And that's it for this house. Okay, look at all those flashing Z symbols up above us there. Huh, it says that the door... I hate skeletons. Let's switch to our bashing weapon again. Get items. Uh, quarter staff, wield. Quarter staff. Why can I hold the one but not the other? Is a fork spear that much more volume than a quarter staff? All right, that went pretty good. And don't need any of that. Guess I can hold them both. Okay. Yield. Eh. It's annoying having to shuffle this stuff around constantly. All right. Ooh, military vehicle. What do we got? Armor personnel carrier. This has got a grenade launcher, I believe. Up here. Nope, mail it M2 Browning. rough engine and battery system. Alright, it's in pretty rough shape. Let's check the browning. We'll unload it. Oh, it's got the 50 caliber BMG. I can't use that right now. Um... We'll go ahead and throw it in the in, in the uh, cart. All right, let's try some more lock picking. Nope. Mm, rubber boots and some work gloves. Let's. I think I've already got rubber boots, but we'll grab these just in case. Be valuable for the hospital trip with all the acid zombies. <laughs> Television? What can you take that apart into? Pretty standard electronics equipment. I'm not going to bother taking that. And not useful. A barrette. I've already got a flute, so I don't need another instrument. All right, should be a room with a bathroom somewhere. There it is. Just a hat, I think. Yep, newsboy cap. And an empty bathroom. All right, a whole bunch of nothing in this house. Mark it off and hit the one across the street. Ooh, hello, tough zombie. get through there with uh, my cart unless I smash something. Let's... Alright, smash the oven. That's usually easier. Pop-tarts. We'll grab the pop-tarts. Got another map. 
More detergent. Well, we got plenty of can sealer. Can sealer. And crank powered cast aluminum machine designed to automatically seal tin cans. All right, I assume I could use that to reseal cans after I have eaten something out of them. Huh, I don't remember if I've ever seen one of those before. Interesting. We'll grab it. We'll unload it if we turn out not needing it. Uh, I don't care about that. Sure, we'll grab the free thread. Ooh. Basement hiding in the corner down there. What do we got? Ooh, we got a prepper basement. Alright, so... These will just be bottles of water. Uh, I didn't bring my crowbar with me. I'll do those after I see if there's anything living down here. Pulp Human Corpse with an M60. Rifle, 308 caliber. Auto fire, 20 round burst. General purpose machine gun again. Um, what else? 308 casings. Cargo pants that fit. Um, those I'd be somewhat interested in. Let's finish looking around though. Fire axe. Pliers. Bolt turning quality. And a crowbar, a full crowbar. Alright. Pretty good stuff so far. Sten. Some full metal, 44 Magnum, full metal jacket, and a homemade hand cannon. Eh, not impressed with the homemade hand cannon. Pocket survival guide, definitely take. Alright. Grab the ammo, grab the sten, maybe. I'll have to go up and grab the, uh, don't care about the flashlight, and nothing in the bathroom as usual, so I'll go grab my crowbar and my backpack. Uh, actually, there's a crowbar down there, so I just need the backpack. Back down we go. We'll grab the crowbar and crowbar those things on our way out. Nah, nothing else up there. What do we got? Some Inventory, please. Some flour, some loot fisks, and some sauerkraut. Yummy, yummy. Some spam. Already got that unloaded. Don't care about the small fire extinguisher. And grab the cargo pants just in case. Oops. Spam in these to open them. Almost never find anything in these. Up we go. So, a little bit of stuff. And drop this stuff in there. full. Shopping cart's full already. It was dropping stuff I was trying to put in there. Alright, so let's mark this house off the list and I need to make a decision here. Do we do a drop point and keep searching? Or do we run down and drop these off in the garage where we've already been storing some stuff? Um, hmm. I think I don't want to fight with my backpack on if I can help it. 
definitely doing one or the other. Let's just do a drop right here at the end of this street. So we'll just park. Hello, raccoon. <laughs> Alright, I guess we'll get some skill training on a raccoon here as we whiff away. Oh, didn't want to kill him. Wanted to get some free skill ups. And we got a little bit of meat out of him. Make that the cart. Okay, probably just barely fit that in there. Alright, we'll just leave it right here. Uh, we'll use this right there. Alright, keeping those. Don't need that or that. Milk's gone rotten. None of this stuff's really taking up much space. Let's sort by volume. Alright, so not surprising. The jug and a quarter staff. Uh, Bionic's taking up some space. And the CBM. Don't need the makeshift crowbar anymore. Alright, I think we'll keep the rest of that. Then my own inventory. Let's dump the cargo pants. And the ammo belt and the stem. Alright, take off the backpack. And back into the cart you go. How are we doing now? So we're down to 22 out of 50, so that's a little better. I'm going to try to start being a little more selective in what I pick up. I'm just grabbing junk that I probably know I'm never going to actually use. Um, nope. Alright, so let's keep rolling up this street. We'll just head over to this house next. Is that ammo? Birdshot? Eh. I'm never going to use birdshot. I don't care about that. Hello, zombie. Pesto, bird egg, bird egg, oops, all the bird eggs. Come on. Alright, why is not the grab all command is not working for some reason? Uh, ooh, pair of leather gloves that fit, sure. I think the ones I have are getting a little worn if I remember right. Yep, and they don't fit, so let's swap them out. Take off. Actually, it will drop on the table those. Then we'll wear... Oh, did I put them in the cart already? Yes, I did. Alright, that was a good trade-off. Uh, hello, fat zombie. Let's check the stuff out first. Get. Man, this town's chock full of these basements. And yet again, might as well. I already know I'm going to end up needing my backpack again. Get items. Get items. Alright. Stop it. Down we go. And M60 yet again. Oh, M240 this time. Still full on machine gun. Um, I'm kind of just curious, does it? Alright. 
Just making sure. Drop. Alright, another axe, a wood saw. I can't remember if I've got a wood saw. I'll grab it. Lemonade's good. Yeah, we'll just grab it all. What do we got? What do we got? Survivor carbine? Eh. We've already got stuff that I consider better. Take the ammo. It's almost always a book. That one we've already got. Grab the lighter and the cigarettes. And... Uh, sure. Don't care about the rest. Alright, what's in the kitchen? Got a pocket knife already. Mess kit. Uh. Runs on batteries, boiling, containing, and cooking quality. Or food cooking. Um, everything might need for wilderness cooking. So it's battery powered, basically. A little mo more than a uh, hot plate, so pretty good thing to have if we get stuck out in the wilderness. Bandages and an empty bathroom as always. Alright, so not the basement I want. I want the gunsmith's basement, but uh, better than nothing. Uh, I've got enough bottles of water. Cart's full again. Is it? Oh, it's not. Alright. Alright. Is that zombie coming in yet? Kind of expected him to show up. Mark that one off. He wandered off. Let's kind of work him my way back and forth across the street. So let's go this way first. And is this a bike or a motorcycle? Extra light frame. But pedals are broken though. We'll probably find a better one here eventually. Alright, uh, doors on the far side. Winter boots. Uh, could come in useful eventually. Um, Yeah, let's grab them. Alright. What do we got? Rec room basement? Um, almost never find anything useful down here. We're just going to take off. all the new stuff that our binoculars during the daytime are uncovering so got an antique store hanging out right on the outside edge of this residential area there's a laundromat laundromat I can't remember the last time I was in a laundromat might have to go look there might be a lot more soap and detergent um, furniture store so a whole bunch of residential still all the way up this side um, Not sure how many more just standard houses I want to hit. Really, there's only one basement I'm looking for, and it's fairly rare. I'm wondering if we'd be better served to pull back and 
Try to do more surgical strikes during the night time and get into the particularly useful places, the hardware stores, the garages for tools, the gun stores, mill surplus stores, pharmacies, dock offices, things like that. Um, back up this way again. Let's, I'm going to hit these now. No, I'm going to stop there. All right, back down we go. I think I'm going to call this episode to a close right here. Um, it's getting about that time, and we've got a pretty stable situation over on this end of town, so no real dangerous zombies have shown up. We've got a little bit more looting done, nothing too terribly exciting, so I'm debating what to do. I might just dump some more of the semi-useful stuff on the ground here and then continue. Time frame wise, it's 748, so it's going to be getting dark fairly soon. I'm not certain I could make a trip all the way back down to the farm, so I'm thinking of retreating back down to the garage, using that as our point that we can, uh, kind of our midpoint between the farm, the ranch, and this town, and I'll dump gear there, and then on my way back out of town, I'll stop in there and kind of sort out and grab the stuff that I think is useful. Um, kind of looking at the map. Yeah, I think that would be more interesting gameplay-wise, so I'm going to just relocate some of this junk in between episodes over to the garage. I'll just make a couple of trips real fast to get all of the accumulated supplies we've gathered into the garage, and then when we start up again, it'll be inside the garage, hopefully in the evening time, and we'll do some little more surgical creeping in the dark up into the populated areas of the town. We'll see if we can get to some of the important buildings um, that we're really after right now and I think I've had enough house looting for a while so we'll stop doing that for now and uh, do the more important stuff. So that's where we're going to leave it. As always please do hit the like, comment, and subscribe options to let me know how I'm doing and to improve the channel metrics and I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Have a good day. Bye-bye.